So guys, today we are back with another lecture. As you all know that we started a one of the chapter and the name of the chapter was life, right? So today we are going to conduct the last class of that uh, of that chapter, which is life, okay? And today we will complete the explanation of this chapter plus a written work regarding this chapter. So up till now we had learned so many things regarding this chapter. We learned about the reflection. We learned about how light bends. and different types of lenses which include convex lens and concave lens amad i'll give you access in the last please wait and let me explain first okay because i tried to unmute you but you were not getting unmute yourself okay so just wait so today students we are supposed to learn about different things which use lens right as i told you that why do we use lens we use lens for different purposes normally we know that uh, light always travels in a straight line light always travels in a straight line but uh, sometimes we need to bend the direction of light so light direct the direction of light cannot be diverted itself so we need to use lens to change the direction of light right so this is how <coughs> we use the lenses now here come some of the things which use lenses right so here i have written some of the names in front of you that includes spectacles or glasses microscope telescope cameras magnifying glass okay car headlights led lights binoculars projectors your eyes flashlight spectacles apart from these things you can find out many other things which use lens okay so afterwards we are going to learn about the next topic of this chapter which is magnifying glass yes ishmal very good so ishmal has given me some of the examples glass microscope telescope camera magnifying glass okay good so class now what we are going to learn about we are going to learn about magnifying glass do you know what is a magnifying glass a magnifying glass has convex lens which is used to make small objects appear bigger why do we use convex lens we use convex lens to make this things appear bigger which are actually smaller so we use magnifying glass okay so in magnifying glass which lens is used convex lens is used lens is used in magnifying glass okay afterwards there is another topic of our chapter which is image what is image basically we see ourselves in front of the mirror mirror that is actually our image so light rays which pass through a lens light rays that pass through a lens form an image things reflected by a mirror is called image whatever we see in the mirror we see ourselves we see the different things which are behind us we can we can see those things as well in the mirror okay so what are all these things these all things are basically image if they are in the mirror okay so light rays pass through a lens form an image things reflected by mirror is called an image we are able to see the things around us how we are able to see things around us because in our eyes lenses are used we can focus on something for example if you are looking at <clears throat> your screen whatever gadget you are having right now you can look onto the screen right so you are focusing on your screen it doesn't mean that you can see over here and here you cannot see over here and here you can see everything if someone passes uh, behind you you will feel and you will see as well okay so we can observe many of the changes with, with the help of our eyes but we are just forming an image on the thing uh, the thing on which we are focusing that is image so how it is happening because light rays pass through a lens and this lens is uh, present in our eye so light rays which pass through a lens form an image things reflected by mirror is called an image okay so here is a 
teddy bear in front of you where you can see that he is looking at the mirror and he can see himself. So, how is the, he is being able to see himself? Because light rays are striking uh, on his eyes and then reflecting. Okay? So, it means he is able to see himself in the mirror. And what he is seeing in the mirror? He is seeing his image. So, this is the image. Now here you can see this diagram if you concentrate over here you can feel see this is our right this midwell line is basically mirrored fine this midwell line is mirrored now basically think this this is a real object that is a car okay car is kept near us but if we see the same car in the uh, in the mirror, that is not the actual object. That is the image of that object. Fine. So basically, what is happening over here? You can see that light rays are striking or reflected by the mirror. Then they fall on the object. In the result, object can be seen in the mirror as well. Okay. So basically, the object which we see in the mirror, that is not the actual object. That is the image of that that object. Okay, so light rays which pass through a lens form an image being reflected by mirror is called an image. What is it? It is a mirror. Okay, so now we are going to learn about the uses of mirror. We use mirrors to see ourselves. It is used in microscope. It is also used in doors of hills. Mirrors are used in cars and other vehicles. <clears throat> Last, do you know, everybody knows about it that we see ourselves with the help of mirror. It, it is so common. Okay, nothing is different here. But do you know about it that there are hilly roads? For example, if we go to northern areas, okay, if we go to uh, uh, the hills, Naran, Kagan, if we go to places uh, like this, we will find the roads over here with mirrors there are mirrors why these mirrors are used because their roads are not regular their roads are not straight they are making a curve they may be up and down so it means it is uh, really difficult for a driver to see that what vehicle is coming opposite of him okay so this kind of things are used Okay, so it, this is how mirror is also used on the roads of hills. And we know that it is used in cars and other vehicles. Okay, side mirrors are used. Why they are used? To see that who is coming behind us. Okay, so we cannot take over that vehicle. This is a kid who is looking at himself in the mirror. This is how the mirrors are used on the roads as well this is a mirror which is attached to a pole like structure and that is yes that is attached to a pole like structure and it is on the road in the mirror you can see the road as well okay so why it is used it is really helpful for a driver to see here and there apart from this mirrors are used uh, in microscope as well and in the car. So these are four main examples. You can give other examples other than these, okay? So we see ourselves, mirrors are used on the roads of hills, they are used in microscope, they are used in different vehicles as well, okay? Now, what do you see in this picture? You see uh, spectacles. Spectacles are there, isn't it? Yes. But one more thing, you notice over here that these spectacles are being focused. The background over here is quite blurred. Okay, so what we are going to learn about now, we are going to learn about how camera works. I showed you that picture in which you, were, uh, you, you had seen that something is being focused that is done by a digital camera so now we are going to learn 
the last topic of this chapter which is how camera works so here is the picture from your book Okay, Taha, I am trying to speak louder. Okay, this is the this is the page of your book. How camera works? The camera works a bit like a human eye. Okay, light enters the camera through a hole called the focus aperture. Do you know light enters our eye through what kind of uh, what part of our eye? That is pupil. That is pupil. So as the light enters in our eye through pupil likewise a light uh, the light enters the camera through the hole called focus aperture the lenses in front of the aperture focuses light onto the film film is sensitive to light and records the image now i want everyone to look at this picture which is having a film this kind of cell we use Nowadays, we use more digital um, machines, okay? So here you can see, beta, that this is a kind of film. Do you know what kind of structure it is? It is called as film. This is a kind of translucent material. What happens when light falls into it? It captures the, uh, you can see, you can say that the scenery, which is appeared in front of the mirror. This is really sensitive to light. And because it is sensitive to light, so when light hits on it, it records whatever is happening. So this is how a picture is formed or a video is formed. So film is sensitive to light and records the image. Camera lenses can't focus as easily as our eyes lenses. Lenses have to move backward and forward. You might have seen the photographer adjusting uh, adjusting their cameras and moving their lens forward and backward this is how they focus the thing if we focus the thing with our eyes so it is really easy for us allah has given this capability to human being we can uh, we can we are able to see anything and we can make focus on anything okay on which we want but as camera is a human made invention okay so it is difficult for a camera to focus the things easily. So what photographers do, they adjust their lens to focus on particular object. Some cameras can do this automatically as well. Okay, that depends on the quality of the camera. On others, photographer turns the focusing ring, that is the focusing ring, through which they are adjusting their lens. To make the image clear, at this point the film would be spoiled if light reaches it. Sometimes you must have seen that uh, a picture is captured that is quite white, that is totally white. Why it happens when the maximum amount of light is reached on the film? As I told you, that film is really sensitive to light. So it is really sensitive. If the maximum amount of light would be reached over there it can spoil the film or the image that is being formed getting my point so what happens sometimes we see that over light is there in a picture or we become too much bright okay so this kind of pictures we normally do not have so uh, where are we yes we are here at this point the film would be spoiled if light reaches it so there is a shutter between film and the aperture there is a shutter between film and aperture if this picture is clear to you the this one camera is clear to you so you can see here in the hole that there is a kind of door or window which is just uh, turning open and closed opening and closed opening and closed continuously okay when it happens when we capture a photo there is a sound like click Okay, you must you might have experienced this thing that there is a sound like click. Okay, so what kind of thing is it? It is basically a shutter. This shutter is really useful for a camera. Where this shutter is attached or um, is present or situated, it is between the film and aperture. 
it is between the film and aperture what is aperture aperture is the hole through which light enters film is behind the aperture which records the light or which records the image as film is really sensitive to so we want some of the protection for the protection the shutter is used the shutter is used for the protection purpose okay when the picture is taken the shutter uh, lets the light a right amount of light through to the film light reaches the film it makes an image of the film this film is taken out of the camera and developed we get a negative image if you have seen negative image that is black if you have seen this kind of real or uh, film so this would you will found this you will find this thing dark plus negative so they are further developed they are bossed with some of the chemicals they are being they are given uh, like uh, we can say they are given colors as well okay so if you then shine a uh, light through the negative on onto a special photographic paper we get a print so if the print print out that you get for your photo your, your photography that is not the initial one the initial one is taken by the film okay that is negative that is dark then the then this film is washed under the right amount of certain chemicals then the picture that we see is the result of all these processes okay we are not going to the deep of these processes because we are not concerned with this what you need to remember over here you need to remember that camera works like in human and i what are the main parts you need to remember over here that is this one hole in which light enters that is aperture okay and uh, basically what is the thing which is recording our image that is film what is the thing that is just capturing the image that is film which is sensitive to light so if the thing is sensitive and useful as well so we need to protect that particular thing which is a film so for the protection purpose there is shutter which is used between the film and a per and this shutter allows the proper amount of the proper right or the prop right quantity of light to be entered into the camera okay so this is how camera works aperture you need to remember shutter you need, need to remember where the image is recorded that is a film you need to remember something which is sensitive to light in the camera that is a film these are some of the main points we, which you need to remember plus in the reason in main reason, in the reason there is a reason which is the aperture of the camera is just like a pupil of an eye as i told you yes they are they work like the pupil of an eye of human eye because light enters through aperture of a camera and if we talk about human beings so light enters in our eye through pupil right so it is working as pupil pupil in human human eye and aperture in the camera are working in the same way both are allowing the light to enter to be entered this is the page of your book okay and life on earth depends on life on earth depends on light beta let me know if i am clear to you let me know in the chat box let me know in the chat box if i am clear to everyone okay okay nabira okay okay shaheer shaheer why i am not clear to you is my voice proper okay okay beta okay thank you for letting me know so this is the page of your um, book here you can see your, your chapter started from this page okay so main thing regarding this chapter we have learned 
what kind of things we need to remember light travels in a straight line that's a really important line this is really important line okay light travels in a straight line but it bends the direction when it is transferred from one clear substance to another and this is how we see some of the objects like pencil if we put a pencil in the glass of water we will find the structure and find that pencil to be seen as broken so basically that is not broken that is looking like as it is broken okay so this is how the light is refracted or when it is transferred from one clear substance to another when it changes its medium it changes the direction otherwise it will not change its direction okay light is the fastest thing on the earth than anything else and the speed of light is 8 minutes and 10 seconds hamar whatever you want to ask ask me in the chat box when i unmuted you you, you did not unmute yourself whatever you need to ask you can write in the chat box here is about reflection the bouncing back of light is called reflection the bouncing back of light is called reflection okay then again i told you that if you keep the things if you put the pencils your brushes the glass of water so you will find them bent why they are found they are found bent because light bends the direction when it travels from one clear substance to another okay okay i think many of the students wanted to ask uh, regarding homework you were given on monday just wait i'm going to explain okay afterwards we learned about the lenses and that we learned two types of lenses convex lens and concave lens okay then about magnifying glass we had learned the lens in a magnifying glass would be convex or concave that would be convex okay and they are used to make small things appear bigger than after words we learned about image <clears throat> so class now open your copies everyone open your copies i gave you the homework to copy down the reasons in name from book this is your question your reason number 1 was light always travels in a straight line is it right or wrong is there someone who want to answer me is there someone who want to answer me that yes hamna it's true very good yes very good yes this is true okay so how we are going to write the answer of this reason okay beta one thing if you have not done this homework just do it reason the name this right now in the book but afterwards reasons and name these would be copied down in your copy okay with very proper writing so we are going to write the answer now which is yes it is the property of light yes it is a property of light yes it is a property of light then afterwards we had reason number 2 that was sound travels faster than light is it true or false let me know in the chat box quickly quickly very good very good everyone very nice very nice. yes so as you told me that the answer should be no okay the reason is sound travels faster than light no the answer is no reason would be no comma light rays travel much faster light rays travel much faster than sound light rays travel 
much faster than sound okay the next reason of this chapter is all types of surfaces reflect the light in the same way okay beta here bit numbers are given wrong mistakenly okay so you need to be careful your bit numbers would be a b c d e like this okay so class let me know all the ty all types of surfaces reflect and reflect light in the same way very good no all the types of surfaces do not reflect the light in the same way so answer would be no comma no comma shiny surfaces reflect more light than other surfaces shiny surfaces would reflect shiny surfaces reflect more light than other surfaces Now, the next one is light travels in straight line whether anything is along its path. The answer is no. It makes shadow if anything blocks its path. No. It makes shadow. Anything blocks its path. As we learned that light always travels in a straight line. So if anything blocks its path, it would make shadow. So answer would be no. It makes shadow if anything blocks its path. Here appears the same reason that i showed you on her slide as well the aperture of a camera is just like a pupil of an eye let me know hurry it let me know in the chat box the aperture of a camera is just like pupil of an eye yes very good yes very good the reason would be yes because light enters through aperture of a camera. It's aperture of a camera. It is aperture of a camera. Yes, comma, because light enters through aperture of a camera. Is it done? Is it done, everyone? Very good, Maham, very good. Light enters the eye through aperture of a camera. Very good. The next exercise, which is the last exercise of this chapter, name these i hope you have copied down all the name these so number one is straight lines of light what are they called they are called as light rays they are called as light rays straight lines of light is known as light rays Number two, an object which is perfect in shape and made of any transparent material. So, what should be the answer of it? That is curved in shape. That is curved in shape. An object which is curved in shape and made of any transparent material that would be lens. 
in the spelling of lens nobody will put e in the last okay the spelling is l e n s the spelling is l e n s an object with a curved in shape and made of transparent material that is lens the next one is while standing in front of a mirror you see what what do you see you see your image okay so answer of the name these number 3 is image very good taha shivy very good so the next one is an object which is sensitive to light and used to record the image that is film that is film the object which is sensitive to light very good maha i am glad to see that many of the students answering me very quickly okay the next one is part of a camera between film and aperture that should be that should be shutter that should be shutter the part of a camera between film and aperture is shutter okay and it is used to protect the camera or film so here are again the name these in front of you straight lines of light these are called light rays the an object with a curved in shape and made of transparent material that is lens while standing in front of a mirror we see an image an object which is sensitive to light and used to record the images is film the part of the camera between film and aperture is shutter So, hope you have got it. Now we are not having much time. 